All right, now let's switch to the iOS model implementation. So we need to go to the iOS directory and select XC workspace project file. It will open Xcode and let's go to the documentation of React Native, iOS native modules. And to start, we need create H file. It's similar to C or C++. You have a header and implementation file. So let's create new group with folder. It's not necessary, but I like to split my module code to separate directory here and let's name it ml kit and then i would like to create new header file so it's recommended to start objective c names with some prefixes because it has shared namespace so let's start it with RCT as all React native modules and then I would like to use our module name let's pick target our app so inside we should do import of bridge module and create interface for our class so the name should be this uh, this automated generated part is just uh, as I remember check if this file not included any time so if it, if not included we include this part if it see it was already defined it is ignore this part maybe for your goals you can skip and delete it but uh, we can just left it as it is okay we create it now we can go to the um, creation m file it's called in Xcode objective c file pick the target what we have to do here we need to import our header so let's do this then we need to correctly name our implementation and this rct export module actually create our react native module and we need to name it same as we used in javascript so let's copy the name from javascript all right and next let's export native method to javascript as we did previously in Java so our method name is supposed to be recognize image which receives string and param name will be URL and this is second parameter which we don't need here okay and now we can test it with 
log info but we need to do import for header file first so we can use URL uh, this is uh, actually string connotation in objective C in like Java or JavaScript it will be equal to this so we have string URL and this person dot means mm, it will be replaced with object from next parameter so URL and this part will be replaced with URL object which we will receive from the JavaScript side now we can set the breakpoint and run and check how it works on the simulator let's select image from the gallery it's just a screenshot I added so let's proceed the image and you see we stop at breakpoint we can see uh, URL value and the logs also RCT log info also works you can see it output here says URL and replace this person dot with value of URL which is th this one alright in the next video we will add some MLKit API